Hello, my friend. I wanted to talk to you today about being moderate and modest about trauma. Trauma is a word that is around everywhere at the moment. And I get so many people coming to me who announce to me that they want to work on their childhood trauma or on their current trauma. Now, sometimes it is helpful for them to do that. And sometimes it makes them get stuck in the notion that they have been damaged in some way by their parents or by things that have happened in their lives or by other people in their current lives. And they have come to believe that this damage is so severe that it has to dominate their entire life. And they're kind of seeing themselves as a victim of something. And this self-victimization, this diving into the rabbit hole of an overcomable trauma is self-imposed. Now, don't get me wrong, there are people who have complex and severe trauma, people who have been in wars, who have observed murders, who have been living under tremendous stresses with natural disasters, who have been uh, in fights, who have been violently attacked. There are people who truly have their whole system reset in this very negative way because of a very traumatic and interfering event in their life. But this is not how most people talk about their trauma. They, what they often mean by trauma is the way they were treated by their parents or their spouses or the wrongs that were done to them in school. Let's think about trees. When trees get damaged, they have many ways of overcoming these wounds. So if they lose a branch, a new branch will grow right underneath that damage or above it, depending on what tree they are, they will not only repair the damage, they will actually thrive through it in some way. If you look at an old oak tree, you will see it's all gnarled. The gnarls are the scars they have created, the strong places they have created on their trunks where they have lost long, big limbs because oak trees do tend to lose limbs in big storms. Now, sometimes, of course, a tree can have a completely broken bough. So a whole part of its growth is removed. And that can be very damaging. It can become lopsided and it can take it years to overcome that. Well, that's a traumatic event that will take some energy to overcome. But the tree is not sitting there saying, look at my damage, help me, do something for me. The tree is commanding more resources, sucking up more nurture, nurturance through its roots, putting down deeper roots so that it's more steady and it can manage to keep its balance despite its lopsidedness. So it works in so many different ways to overcome the damage. Now, of course, there may be big storms that actually totally uproot the tree. Well, that's rare. That is rare, but it happens. And yes, sometimes trauma is so severe that it uproots a person completely. 
If you work with somebody like that, it will be very obvious that they are that deeply traumatized. And you know something? Those people never claim to be traumatized. They fight very hard and they often have put down amazing resources of resilience inside of themselves to overcome even that deep trauma. We also know that most people, 90% of people who go through traumatic events actually do feel that they gain something and that they're stronger for it at the end, which doesn't make it a pleasant experience. But nevertheless, we can become more resilient and overcome. Also, only about 7% of people who have suffered a trauma and have really been messed up by it end up with PTSD. PTSD being post-traumatic syndrome that makes you plunge back into the traumatic experience again and again. That is actually a relatively rare occurrence. So this trend of people claiming these great big troubles of deeply traumatic events and attaching them to experiences that they could be much more creative and resilient around is very counterproductive. So don't get sucked into the verbosity of the trauma movement that makes you believe that everything you feel in your life and everything that is difficult for you is difficult because you are traumatized and damaged. You are not my friend. You are way stronger than you think you are. And if you have been damaged and you have this complex trauma, you will know that. And good help is available because there are some excellent people working with complex trauma and with grief and bereavement. And there are pathways for you. But my friend, do not ask for trouble. Do not get held up in this regressive desire to sit with your wounds and to pick at them and to take the crusts off. Let yourself heal. Let yourself feel your strength and your ability to take things on the chin and like an old oak tree to make a stronger stem trunk, a stronger set of roots and a much more wide bow with many new growth in your branches and very many new leaves every spring. Make those acorns, my friend. Don't live in sack and ashes. Live your life with all the strength you can muster and don't deprive yourself of that strength for any reason at all.